Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, April 4th. We are at the headquarters of Pure Aqua, uh, Santa Ana, California. Uh, we're already here to ship uh, complete systems, two systems that they're going to be leaving tomorrow morning to the Maldives. The, both systems are seawater auto systems. Uh, the capacity of those systems 48,000 gallons per day and 96,000 gallons per day. The feed water source is a well water from the sea or from the ocean. The, the system is designed and capable to treat seawater to meet the WHO drinking standard water parameters. As we see here, we start the system with a feed and backwash pump. Those pumps are made by duplex stainless steel alloy, which is one of the highest uh, non-corrosive materials that they resist the corrosive in the water. Uh, as we know that the seawater is very corrosive between the high TDS or salinity and uh, the warm water that cause a lot of problems if you are not using the, the correct materials. As we see here we are also using uh, like, uh, like a few components that make the system hopefully work smooth without any problems. This is what we see here is a diaphragm seal so the pressure gauge doesn't get in touch or doesn't get, get in direct contact with the seawater. So as we said, we have two systems. So we have one feed and backwash for the, for the small system and one feed and backwash for the large system. One filter will act as a pretreatment for the small system. Two filters will act as a pretreatment for the larger system. As we said, those are 48 inch tanks diameter and they are designed uh, to, to work properly with the, with the seawater application. We also have the chemical dosings to cover the pre-chlorination, anti-scaling, dechlorination, and post-chlorination. This is also the chemical cleaning system to you know, clean the membranes, which is expected to be like once a year. To continue, this is the, the 48K or the 48,000 gallons per day seawater. It's, um, it includes high quality components, duplex, uh, stainless steel piping, which is very good for the seawater applications. All the pressure gauges, they have the diaphragm seal to prevent, prevent direct contact between the seawater and the, and the pressure gauge itself. Pressure switches that we are using here, this one here has a high pressure switch and the low pressure switch. They are made of duplex stainless steel, again to resist uh, corrosion, corrosion for, from the seawater. We have the, the non-metallic or the fiberglass material fiberglass filter which is 5 micron and the pumps are made by FEDCO and they are super duplex stainless steel. Same thing for the energy recovery here the, which is, saves about 35 to 40 percent of the power consumption. Again it's also made by uh, FEDCO. The control panel as we see here is, is also it's a, it's a Siemens uh, S1200 with a touch screen that controls the entire system for, for the 48K. In the back, we have the same system, the same thing, but with a bigger pump, with a bigger filter, with more number of membranes, same design, same instruments, uh, exactly the same design, but the capacity is bigger. Again, just to illustrate a little bit on the seawater, Usually the seawater systems would require a, like, a special attention and special design due to the corrosivity of the water. As we know, the TDS is about 40,000 ppm, which is, which is very corrosive. Between, between high TDS and uh, warm water, if the system is not really designed properly with a good material, you're going to end up having a lot of uh, leaking problem and corrosive issues that has to do with the seawater problems. We selected the, the, the best components that we can find, of course, between pressure gauges, between high pressure pump, between uh, duplex stainless steel piping and fittings, duplex um, pressure switches, GF signets uh, instruments. Th those, those all components are, are really tried by Pure Aqua since 15 or 16 years. So we've been using those components without any problems. The membranes that we are using here, they are manufactured by Hydronautics uh, here in the USA and we are expecting this system to leave tomorrow to the Maldives. Thank you.